Superconductivity is characterized by the complete ejection of magnetic field lines from the interior of the superconductor as it moves into the superconducting state. There are mathematical theories to explain superconductivity, but these theories describe some of the effects of superconductivity without giving us an objective explanation of these effects that exists within the conventional understanding of physics. Superconductivity does not just create levitation defying the gravitational pull of the whole Earth. There are forces of attraction called magnetic pinning locking the two objects together. As the temperature approaches absolute zero, the entropy reaches its minimum value. It is as though they are frozen in time within their own reference frame. Because superconductivity is formed by the dynamics of quantum mechanics, we need a deeper understanding of quantum physics to explain this. This simple diagram highlights the continuous connection between energy and time and how Heisenberg's uncertainty principle works within an individual reference frame. The more we know the energy, the more uncertain we are of the time, and the more we know the time, the less certain we are of the energy. Therefore, if we lower the energy, the faster time will run in an individual reference frame, and the shorter the time period. Relative to this, the momentum becomes less, and the movement or vibrations become less, within a larger area of space. Therefore, the position becomes less uncertain within a larger area of space. In this way, the rate that time flows is linked to the area of space, forming the curvature of space-time. This can be seen if we lower the energy in an individual reference frame all the way down to absolute zero. At absolute zero, this process is happening over a large enough area to be visible to us. The light photon oscillations, or vibrations, that form the movement of electric charge and the flow of electromagnetic fields will stop. The electromagnetic fields will lock together and there will be no electrical potential within that individual reference frame. There will also be no gravitational potential within the reference frame. In this theory, this is because gravity is a secondary force to the electromagnetic force. Objects just free fall towards the greatest mass or energy, because it has the slowest rate that time flows. As soon as this energy increases, photon oscillations will form the movement of electric charge and the flow of electromagnetic fields, and over a period of time the object will free fall towards the greatest energy or mass, with a built-in potential uncertainty of momentum and position. Therefore we can see that the electrical potential the gravitational potential and the future potential of the object's position and momentum are linked by one universal process. Even when the object is not moving, there is still continuous energy exchange, continuous movement, because of the wave-like nature of space and time. If our eyes were more sensitive to the light, we would be able to see that everything is radiating light waves of electromagnetic radiation continuously. The atoms interact with the light waves, forming rainbows of color relative to their own energy or momentum. This forms a process of continuous energy exchange that we can interact with, turning the possible into the actual. The atoms of the hand and eye will collapse the waves of light into photon energy just like any other object, creating their own reference frame. In this theory, it is not just beauty that is in the eye of the beholder, but creation itself. The absorption and emission of light, or electromagnetic radiation, forms a process of continuous change that we see and feel as a flow of time. Time is an emergent property formed photon by photon, forming the forward momentum of light, or electromagnetic radiation. This is explained mathematically by the quantum wave particle function, 
or probability function of quantum mechanics. This probability function forms Heisenberg's uncertainty principle, representing the same uncertainty we have with any future event. This creative process is universal, so even the lowest possible energy level, we have zero-point energy. The vacuum of space is filled with zero-point electromagnetic radiation, as in this theory represents part of the process that forms the flow of time, creating the curvature of space-time within an individual reference frame. The fabric of space-time can be visualized as having zero-point energy at every point in space and at every moment of time, forming the beauty of harmonic motion in our everyday life. This forms an infinity of possibilities, and if we calculate the energy, the result is a calculation of infinite zero-point energy within any finite volume of space. In a universe of continuous energy exchange, continuous movement, it should be possible to use this zero-point energy, because at its root this energy represents the infinity of the creative process that the symmetry of life is based upon. This process is relative to the different structures that the atoms form, with different phase changes in matter changing how the process unfolds at different temperatures. At high temperature, we have a phase change in matter, and the same process unfolds at a much larger scale in the form of plasma. If we look up at the heavens, we see this process unfolding in its most simple form, with spherical stars and spiral galaxies. At such high temperatures, in the form of plasma, charge can cover a whole star or even a large area of interstellar space. This spherical geometry can even be seen in these images from the International Space Station with a candle flame in zero gravity naturally forming a sphere that is interacting with the environment on the two-dimensional surface of the sphere. In our everyday life, fire would take on the same spherical symmetry if the symmetry was not broken by this universal process of energy exchange that forms the potential for the ever-changing world of our everyday life, forming what we see and feel as the passage or continuum of time. Because life is creating the timeline of its own evolutionary path out of this geometrical process, this broken symmetry can even be seen as mirror or line symmetry within the physical shape of intelligent life. In this theory, life is the creator of creation, with the wave-particle duality of light and matter in the form of electrons, forming a blank canvas that we can interact with, forming the possible into the actual. The future is unfolding with each new photon-electron coupling or dipole moment relative to our actions. This can be in the form of art, music or poetry. This process forms a potential infinity of possibilities with creation in the hand and eye of the beholder. Within such a process, the greatest probability is that greater beauty and symmetry will arise. Below I have placed a link to a video that explains the mathematics that represents this geometrical process. Thanks for watching. Please share and subscribe. It will help the promotion of this theory.